Hi, and welcome to this video about using library ebooks as your textbook. The library provides free textbook access in a few different ways. We have a reserve collection of the print textbooks for most COS classes. Reserves are for in-library use only. We have some textbooks that can be checked out for the entire semester if you qualify. More information about that is on the library's textbook page. And sometimes we're able to offer free ebook versions of textbooks, which is the focus of this video. Library ebooks function differently than ones you buy for yourself because the library is all about sharing. Unfortunately, textbook publishers want to limit sharing, and so when libraries buy ebooks, only a certain number of people can use them at the same time. Let's get into some details. Most of the library's ebooks are in collections from EBSCO or eBook Central. If the maximum number of people are using an ebook already, you may see a message that says, Sorry, this ebook is in use, or All copies are currently in use. These ebooks will be available for you as soon as someone stops using them, so keep checking back. Keep in mind that when you are using an ebook, that if you take a long break, in other words, you stop using it, then the ebook may go to someone else and then you'll have to wait again. For EBSCO and eBook Central eBooks, you will not be able to download the entire eBook. Sometimes you can download portions, however, which you can then print or read offline. In EBSCO, look for the Save, Email, or Print Pages links, which will tell you how many pages, if any, you're allowed to download. For similar information in eBook Central, look in the Availability section. If these options do not seem to be working, it's probably because the publisher does not allow printing or downloading. On the other hand, ebooks in the OverDrive collection are designed to be downloaded. You can keep them for up to three weeks. This is great if you're the lucky one with the book, but it does make sharing among an entire class more difficult. Because of this, there is a waiting list feature. If you get on the waiting list, you will be notified when the ebook is available. As a bonus, the library will be notified that we should consider getting more copies since people are waiting. You can learn more about how OverDrive eBooks and eAudiobooks work by going to the library's research help page and looking in the databases section. I know that some of this may have sounded complicated, so here are the main takeaways if you want to use a library eBook as your textbook. Number one, don't wait until the last minute to do your reading because someone else might be already using the book. Number two, contact the library if you have any problems with the ebooks. We're here to help you and we want you to have free textbook access whenever possible. Our contact info as well as more information about using library textbooks is available on the library's website. Our textbook page has lots of information, including a video showing how to find library textbooks in the catalog and a list of zero textbook cost classes. This list contains handy links to all the library ebooks being used as textbooks. Again, don't hesitate to contact the library if you want help. You can reach the library by email at library at siskiyous.edu and by text or phone at 530 938-5331. Our website is www.siskiyous.edu slash library, which is where you'll find all of our contact info and the link to our textbook page. Have a great semester and happy reading!